Paulo Sotero is director of the Wilson Center's Brazil Institute. He joins us today to discuss, guess what, the Rio Games, the 31st Olympiad. Paulo, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be with you, John. So the opening ceremony is fast approaching. What can you tell us about the mood of people in Brazil? I'm sure that when Rio was selected for the to be the venue, there was great excitement. Um, and I'm guessing uh, all kinds of events since then have tempered that enthusiasm. Yeah, 96% of Brazilians supported hosting the Olympics at that time in 2009. Today, less than half of that. Even the people in Rio are, say... Only 40% say they are interested. Uh, so the country has gone through a lot, crisis, economic crisis, a major uh, problems with cor related to corruption. Uh, there is uh, really uh, a sense that uh, now uh, that we probably should not have done this. Uh, this was decided at a moment where Brazil was at least uh, selling itself as this uh, incredible emerging power. Uh, there are some of that that was true, but the economy was badly mismanaged. mismanaged. We have now uh, an impeached president that will probably be removed from office early in September. Uh, so a acting president that will welcome the games and open the games officially. But the mood is really uh, not a positive one. And outside of Rio uh, is as if the games were not taking place. So for, so for any city or, or country, this is generally viewed as an opportunity to show off, a bit of a showcase. W how does Brazil approach this Olympics? I think... Uh, as we start the games, I think you will see a change of attitude. You know, uh, never underestimate a capacity of a Brazilian to throw a party. Uh -huh. We are good at that. Rio de Janeiro remains one of the most beautiful urban cities on earth. Uh, once the athletes arrive, once we have the open ceremony, I think the mood will be will change. Uh, people in Rio and throughout Brazil are very very welcoming. So uh, as usually happens or has happened in major global sports events. It's very sour at the beginning because there are problems of all kinds. Uh, uh, and then it, we get it right. I think that in our case, uh, we had too many problems that could have been avoided. They were not, but in the end, uh, my hope is uh, in the absence of a major event like uh, terrorist mm -hmm. attack, which is common these days, I think it will be okay and people going to Rio especially uh, will be very welcome. I also think that people watching from television will see uh, a beautiful event. It, it probably doesn't hurt that expectations are a bit low because then you can only improve from there. Yes, that's, uh, you know, uh, inevitable because uh, of what I just mentioned. I think there was also calculate, there were calculation statements by Mayor Eduardo Paes and others precisely to dump an expectation so uh, you can put a uh, positive show and benefit from it, although I don't think there will be any political benefit from the games in Brazil by politicians. I don't think that there will be much of uh, economic benefit also. Of the, uh, the, the various concerns that have been voiced, uh, uh, concerns about polluted waters or the Zika virus, or you said earlier, uh, uh, I missed the far end of concern, serious concerns, terrorist attack. What, can you rate for us what you think are the most legitimate concerns, the most likely things to, to be a problem versus those things that are more far-fetched? I think for the athletes, uh, really, the water pollution issue is probably a, a, a legitimate source of concern. Uh, they have to take some precaution, although I believe that uh, by the time the events take place, uh, uh, some of the pollution will have been sort of fixed, at least temporarily. Uh, the odd Zika, frankly, is not an issue. Uh, it's winter in Brazil. Mosquitoes are not very active. Brazilians are uh, not particularly worried about that, especially in Rio. Mm -hmm. I think the chances of being mugged uh, in the street are much higher than of being infected by uh, Zika. I think there is a general anxiety about uh, uh, safety. Uh, Rio, unfortunately, as a major cities in Brazil are 
uh, health problems of creamy. You're talking about crime. street crime, not terrorism. Yes, yes, the, yes, case, yes. The common uh, garden variety right, right. crime. But uh, uh, I think with uh, uh, the security apparatus that has been put in place, uh, this is well. It will also uh, be controlled. Uh, I covered in '92 the Earth Summit in Rio that attracted almost a hundred chiefs of state, and uh, the city was very heavily policed. It's and become it, very hard targets, They're yeah, not easy marks. For yeah, them. and 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 people enjoyed, and people, and then there is this, you know, Rio is one of the most beautiful cities in the world, and the people in Rio are fabulous, and there will be plenty of moments, opportunities to dance, to enjoy beautiful places, to be with friends. So that, I think, and the event itself, the Olympics is, uh, you know, about merit, about effort. So I think that the, the games themselves will add to, uh, will contribute to make this a great event. One final thought, Paulo, is you, you already mentioned you, did, you thought there would be no political gain from this. But what about a, a bump or, a, or, or the opposite, if it goes wrong, a positive or a negative for the psyche of Brazil and the people? Do you think there's any opportunity that if this goes off very well, it could finally be a bit of good news for Brazil? John, there are indications now that uh, the economy is starting to come out of the crisis. Uh, uh, investors are starting to make positive statements. So assuming that this all comes out well, uh, that you mix into the, his, the, the, the story of uh, effort, heroism during the games, and people feel good in the end about this, it could be a little uh, positive, could be positive for uh, the interim acting government, uh, creating a uh, environment, well, you know, we did this well uh, uh, after all. Even in the uh, midst of a crisis. In the midst of a crisis, uh, Brazil is a good country and we are going to continue to, you know, pursue what we are pursuing. There is a very good and positive feeling in Brazil in regards to one thing, the fight against corruption in Brazil. I hope that they find some way of featuring this in the opening ceremony because uh, this is very much supported in Brazilian society is one of the virtues that Brazil uh, can ex show the world right now and uh, the Olympic Games would be a very nice occasion to present this uh, you know which is a game for Brazilian democracy uh, and it would be a very nice way to mix that into the picture as you welcome the world to this wonderful uh, uh, games, the Olympic Games. Well, well Paulo, uh, I know you'll be watching, I'll be watching, the world will be watching, so uh, thank you for helping us set the scene. Thank you, John.